What's up, Eddie? What's up, Rat? These are fun, man. Yeah. I love the neck. I'm really digging these guitars. Ed, Brett, moreguitars.com. My very um, over looming voice mm -hmm. from the movie trailer I did the other night. Just kidding. Uh, we're with moreguitars.com and we are here to talk about something a lot of people are asking about. The difference between the American Performer Strat with hum single single, humbucker single single coil, and the single single single. There are some cool options which I've been dying to get from Fender for years that have just finally, finally availed themselves. So I'm excited to talk about these because of this one knob down here on that <laughs> guitar and then also what it does on both guitars to kind of enhance the usability of these guitars, which should have been done a long, long time ago. Sorry, Fender, throwing you under the bus, but this should have been done a long time ago. But now we have it, it's 2019 and we're happy. So right. moving on from the negativity. So first of all, let's get it out of the way. These metallic finishes are amazing. Love it. And uh, yours is what? Penny? Uh, penny. Penny. Yes. The penny. It's supposed to look like a penny. It does not, but we'll say it does. And this is Aubergine. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a fine champagne or wine or something of that nature. And it is. It is not aged yet, but it is fine already. <laughs> anyway, so let's go through. So the let's go through the basic specs and then let's get to the meat and potatoes of uh, what's different about these guitars. So hammer down. All right, so we got the Yosemite pickups in here. <laughs> 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 I thought you were gonna. I, I, I thought you were gonna bypass that, but you didn't. The Yosemite pickups in this guitar are really very, very cool. They're, the, to my ear, they're brighter than what we're hearing on the American Professional Series guitars. I yeah, really get that. For sure. Yeah, I'm just they punch it. through, man. Yeah, they really they do. Through. And I know you wanted to talk about this, so I just kind of did. So, in years past. <laughs> keep going. No, in years past, that knob did nothing. Nothing. Basically. So now, you know, and you never had a tone control on this single coil pickup. It yeah. was, you turned it up or you turned it down, or you know. So now you can get rid of some of that obnoxious brightness and brittleness, and you can get, that's the obnoxious brightness. So to me, I really like it for like more subtle, softer stuff, it's nice. Cool, you never hear that in the strap before. Right. You got that, it's kind of bringing out the, you're in channel two, so you got yeah. a little bit of gain in it. So put it on channel one and play that tone. So here's what a strat, here's what a strat used to sound like. So let's turn it to like five. Oh, no more ice pick to the forehead. Let's turn it all the way down. Let me play some jazz chords. Nice and mellow, yeah. So now we have a usable bridge pickup in a single coil, single coil, single coil Strat. Um, since Ed decided to just bypass all the specs that we were gonna talk about, <laughs> older body, right? Yes. Yours has a maple, maple neck mm -hmm. and fretboard. Yeah. Yosemite pickups. We have the grease bucket in there, right? That's right. And that makes it to where not losing any high frequencies as I roll up the volume, right? Grease bucket. 
It makes total sense why you'd name it that. So it's pretty cons much more consistent. I don't want to say it's exactly the same tone because you're never going to get it to have that low end. It's in the amp's hands at that point. But so it's much more consistent. The grease bucket lets you have your tone at, at softer volumes without, without having to MIDI a new channel in to get it to sound good. So that's what's cool about that. The switching on this dude is, is another thing that you need to be aware of because it adds some things that you could never get before out of a strat, a single, single, single strat. So let's go through that. So position one with this push pull down is, is just the bridge pickup, okay? Position, well, so then let's pull this and it's adding the neck pickup, right? Yes, we are right. Play that same lick. So here's so before the only way to get the neck pickup with another pickup is position four, where and Ed loves that, so go ahead and play that. So now you can get this with this, this with this, and you can get all three. So let's go to position two. So just to clarify position one, you're here, and you're doing just that, then you add, when you pull that, you're adding the neck pickup. So let's go to position two with it down. Now, now what you have is this pickup and this pickup. Now we add this, essentially what you're doing when you pull this up is you're adding the neck pickup to whatever configuration is there. It's cool. So even here, position three. Now listen, play that. On the Fender website, they say nothing about this altering position three, okay? What position three is when it's down is the middle pickup by itself. Whenever you do this, you're, doing, you're adding the neck, the bridge pickup again, do, or, am I, or sorry, the neck pickup. Tap those, make sure I'm right. No bridge pickup, right? No bridge. Right. Okay, so what's different from that? Okay, so play that. Okay. Same tone. Sounds like it. Same tone. So you can get, go ahead. Yeah, it sounds like. So it's the same tone, you can get it in two different ways. It might be a little easier for you to hit, you know, if you're on the fly, kind of cool. Yeah. Just figured that out during the video, real time investigatory things right here. So, so that's cool. So a lot of different switching uh, opportunities there. Um, the next shape is a modern C, am I right? That's correct, modern C, nine and a half inch radius. Very accommodating for the blues hand. <laughs> so the, also the nut width is 1.6, Eight five, so it's a good, comfortable neck. Not not real wide, you know. So, yeah. very nice, very nice. And I love the headstock shape on these. Yeah, big old honking seventies headstock. Back. Transition logo. Harkin. <laughs> Harkins. Harkinson's disease. Hawk. Harkins. Okay, so let's go through this dude. Oh, yeah. So what we have here is the HSS. <laughs> The uh, humbucker single single. So as with this one, it has the Yosemite, the Yosemite, <laughs> the Yosemite single coils. Okay, then it has what they call a double tap humbucker. It is 
a very nice sounding humbucker. I will go through three channels for you with the amp turned up. So right there, that is a Ed Play Yours single coil with the, there you go, play that. That tone, this tone is, is unattainable on that guitar because of the humbucker, okay? So if you're looking to decide which one you want, this is a great video for that because we're gonna compare these tones, okay? So now, what I do, in, whenever I pull this, on this guitar, unlike that one, it turns this humbucker into a single coil. So let's see, let's compare the two single coils. Pretty comparable. Pretty close, yeah. yeah, I'm sure our amps aren't set exactly the same, but they're pretty close. Ooh. There we go. Not used, not used to the jumbo frets. Not used to having to be lighter handed. Okay, so the, um, so then position two is humbucker and middle pickup. So we pull this and you get two single coils. So then. Still a little bit thin on that one, I think. Um, then whenever we get, so that's all for that. That's all that one controls is the, the push pull. But the other cool thing, just as on that one, you finally have a tone control for the bridge pickup. It's like music to my ears. So the um, so let's compare just so people know the neck pickup, single coil, obviously single coil, and tone no knobs all the way high. Here I'll go clean. So it's the same guitar, same thing. Just so you know, just they're not putting different pickups in. Because this is here, it doesn't mess with the phase or any of that nonsense. It is what it is, okay? Okay, so pretty consistent. Um, it's when you get here, so the in, in position one, so. Good. Cowboy chords always are a good demonstrating oh, yeah. piece. So, um, so what else do we need to talk about, Ed? This oh. is a rather long video, but I think it's a good good idea. Vintage style tuners. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we just yeah. didn't cover that. But that's I don't know what else we could tell you. It's a strat. It's finally, <laughs> finally, if we have something that's you know, you know, a good, better, best, really. Yeah. You know, when it comes to you know. The uh, you know player series, performer series, professional, or at least in the U.S. Yeah. You know, starting of course with, uh, you know, ending with the elite series, and you yeah. got your professional and, and you know performer starting here. So, honestly, yeah. I would probably take one of these over, over a pro or elite. To me, I just it's, it's simple. I love the sound of the pickups. Um, yeah, that's the next video we should do because it definitely this is definitely brighter sounding than an American professional yeah. series guitar. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Both good button, but you know. There's a so difference. before we start talking about coffee and beer or whatever else, let's uh, wrap this up. Okay. So um, again, HSS versus SSS. Okay. And um, these are thousand ninety nine, I believe. Yeah, with okay. a Fender Deluxe gig bag. Deluxe gig bag, and um, so very, 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 very good bang for the buck. For $1,099, I feel like it's in the right price point. You know, they've been tinkering around between all these different models and, you know, American, what were all those before? Well, you had your American Standard and then there's the American Deluxe. The Delu but under, under that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going back to like the, no, the uh, what was they calling them? Um, 
Highway, was it Highway Highway ones? One yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. That, and it's, that goes back a ways. Yeah. But, Sean Mike, yeah. 25 years ago. Don't act like you're an old timer. But no, there's so many models up until now, and now it's a real clear delineation between the player, which is made in Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. Then you get to American uh, Performer, sorry, which is your 1099 range, and then you get to American Professional 1300, 1400. Elite, 18 and up. Um, all the guitars are worth it. Every guitar has its own thing. So don't think I'm bad mouthing the pros or the elites, mm -hmm. but for my hand, this neck profile, the pickups, everything, I just love the way it sounds. So let me do this. I want, to, I want, to, I want you to hear one heavy tone with this uh, bridge humbucker. We haven't done that yet, so. <laughs> So it's got it. It's a cool pickup, the double tap humbucker. So I'm ready to go. Right on. Let's get some lunch, come back and do some more of this fun. Okay. I'm Brett. This is Ed. Please, we are not, we, we are here to help you. If you have any questions, please call, chat, email, you know, live chat on the website is what I meant. You can email, check us out on our reverb page. Check us out on our website, moreguitars.com. We are here to help. You can call Rob, you can call Ed, you can call me, and we're here. We play these guitars every day. We'd love to talk to you, you know, take extra pictures for you. Let us know if we can help, okay? Thanks a ton, and please subscribe if you like this video, and like it. Like the video. Goodbye. <laughs>